Now to our top story, Mesa's Fraternal Order of Police formally endorsing a vote of no confidence against Mesa Police Chief Ramon Batista. It's not a good sign for the police chief of the Valley's second largest city. Now the department's two police unions are taking a secret ballot vote that they will publicize later on this month. Team 12's Joe Dana explains what a no confidence vote means and why it's coming so soon after Batista took the job. This was the celebration in the summer of 2017 when Ramon Batista was welcomed from the Tucson Police Department to Mesa. Then two separate incidents thrust him back into the spotlight. When Chief Batista took the job as top cop, he announced, among other goals, a focus on constitutional policing, placing an emphasis on the constitutional rights of citizens. We're going to always work towards getting it right. But now some officers accuse Batista of going too far and not looking out for the interests of his own officers. In announcing a secret ballot vote of whether officers have confidence in the chief, one union's president says, Members complained of Chief Batista's inflammatory, prejudicial, and judgmental statements to the media. Last year, two use of force incidents recorded by body cams prompted protests. They can't act like that. And community meetings with the chief. In one incident, officers punched and delivered knee strikes to a man who wouldn't cooperate. In a second incident, officers were accused of being too rough with a 15-year-old armed robbery suspect while he was handcuffed. None of the officers involved were charged for excessive force. I'm angry. But at the time, Batista suggested the officers acted inappropriately at the very least. Deeply disappointed by what I saw in those videos. We will fix this. In response to the announcement of a no confidence vote being held, Batista declined interviews and issued a statement saying, we are aware that a labor organization working with a marketing firm has issued a poll of our officers. It is important to remember that their agenda does not represent the entire Mesa Police Department. I'm committed to leading this department and I stand by my officers as they carry out their duties. Meanwhile, elected city leaders don't appear interested in taking a side, telling 12 News this afternoon, the mayor and Mesa City Council fully support the brave women and men of the Mesa Police Department, including Chief Batista and his leadership team. The police unions will present their findings to the mayor and city council in 10 days. Those elected officials would ultimately have the say on whether Chief Batista should keep his job and continue what he started. Joe Dana, 12 News.